So looking ahead to next week, less than five weeks to go. This is it. This is where we are putting in the big push. Five weeks, less than five weeks now until I am going to ride the Mallorca 312. We'll pick a distance on the day, see how we feel. But I would not have been as confident as I'm currently feeling about being able to stay ahead of the old broom wagon if it had not been for the structured training plan that I've been putting in the effort to over the past few, so I was about to say weeks then, over the past few months. Thanks to Simon from Velo Performance, links in the description below. Whatever your target is, whether it's a century ride, big ride coming up, even you just want to beat your mate up the local hill climb, I reckon one of the keys to achieving your goals is to have a proper structured cycling plan in place. Oh, and not only having one in place, but actually sticking to it and executing it. If I, let's have a little look at how I've been doing this week, I'm not going to lie, well, until today, it was going pretty good that day there. Oh, green. Double workout Tuesdays, green. Wednesday, Thursday, green. Friday, recovery day. Today, it's all gone wrong, all gone pitong. One through another, didn't get out. I would say I'm gonna go out for a long ride tomorrow as well, but the weather is looking rather inclement and I don't think that's gonna happen. So I guess it's gonna be on the old Wahoo doing some tempo climbs. So looking ahead to next week, less than five weeks to go. This is it, this is where we are putting in the big push. The last bit, what have we got coming up? First off, Monday, a little uh, hour and a quarter aerobic session. That's just kind of zone two, keep it in there, build a base. Tuesday, I love Tuesday, double workout day, Tuesday. Threshold then into sweet spot. So that is more of doing some bigger efforts right at the threshold zone and then into that nice little gray zone between tempo and threshold, a bit of sweet spot training and just some longer sets holding that there. I'll do that first thing in the morning and then in the afternoon we'll hopefully get a little bit of recovery and then do a, an hour's worth of uh, strength workout. Got some squats, split squats, a little bit of a hip thrusting, a bit of bench press and some core work as well into that. Wednesday, back on the old aerobic, building the foundation. Again, about an hour and a quarter, zone two stuff. Thursday, all oh, my favorite, hill reps. So a little bit of a mix up there. It looks like two reps, hill reps, more at threshold, pushing it hard, four minutes worth, and then two longer, slightly less effort around top of tempo, that kind of sweet spot training zone space, hill reps as well. I will probably do those on the turbo just because I'll do them first thing in the morning. And we have no decent hills around here to do hill reps on that are within about an hour's ride. So ain't gonna happen. Lucky me, recovery day on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I've gotta go out uh, next weekend. I just need some decent volume in now. Put some effort in, put some longer rides in. So Saturday will be maybe a little easier ride. Out for a few hours, normal aerobic, so zone two is just nothing special. Keep it fairly steady state. Hopefully, if I'm feeling like it, do another strength workout Saturday afternoon, evening. And then Sunday, I do need to go out and find some hills. That will either be, we'll go out to a climb around here and we'll just do hill repeats up and down that four times, or we'll do a different route where we'll just go out and there's uh you know you ride around for a few hours and there's just a number of hills that will go up and that will cover off the hill climbs for those now i have had a cheeky look ahead weather is looking not too bad for next week so fingers crossed rubbish weather that we've been having here i would say recently but actually it seems like it's been going on forever now we'll start to clear we'll have a little bit of a window and I just need to get out, do the volumes, do the miles, get outside, put enough in, because I'm not sitting on that for three or four hours, that's for sure. So that's the plan. Again, one thing's having a plan. The thing I've got to do is go and execute on it. And again, this week was pretty good up until today, but tomorrow is a new day. Get back on the bike, uh, put some effort in, and then start off, hopefully have a good start to next week, get rolling, and let's try and have a good green week, make sure training peaks is happy. Nice lot of greens on there. And then that'll be one week closer, less than four weeks at that point then. We'll be into the same month. Mallorca 312, end of April, next week, start of April. That's it, we're pretty much there. One last push. Let's check in next week and let's see how it goes. In the meantime, happy riding.